ran, 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 ran. This is shit you shredded, Club. This is your returning champion, Elgin Pensity, aka Trap Saw Jim Duggan. I have never heard of this dipshit in my life until a bunch of you recommended his videos to me. I gotta listen to the fans, so let's go. Exercises in Futility. Foreign Language Edition. Hey guys, Jeff Side here. It's been Felix Valentino. And today the only Valentino I want to hear from is Greg you. Valentino. Number one, nutrition aspect joining Club Shredded. Ernährung ist wichtig bei uns im Sport. Wir zeigen euch, wie ihr in Chess Club kommt mit Hilfe der Pyramide. Trying a little something different today. Alright guys, so we're going to be talking about the foods that go into the shredded pyramid. Now, my favorite number one food is meat. Definitely meat is very essential. That's going to be at the very bottom of the pyramid. Beef, chicken, protein is essential in building muscle. So we got our beef down there, some tuna. So a magnet just for meat. Chicken, very important. And then specific magnets chicken, for types lean. of meat. Okay. We got eggs. Now my recommendation with eggs is to sift out the yolk out of the egg because the yolk has four grams of carbs in it. And what the, is bullshit, uh, egg Alex? White has six grams of protein. So I usually what I do I just sift out the yolk, give it to my dog or something like that, and then just use the yolk. I usually do for like breakfast, like I'll have six egg whites and then two egg holes. For That's a total of eight grams of carbs. Next we got we got some rice. Now right here on this diagram it says it's now you're rice, speaking my language. Rice, just more nutrients in it. Uh, next we have sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes is pretty much like the number one essential building block for carbs. It's the most important carb. The potato there. itself build builds carbs. carbs. And another reason why sweet potatoes are better than just regular potatoes is due to the fact that sweet potatoes are a superfood, so they're packed with nutrients. So sweet potatoes, number one right there. And then lastly we have some bananas. Proteine sind natürlich sehr wichtig für eure für eure Grundnahrung und das steht auch natürlich mit Recht ganz unten in der Nahrungspyramide. Aber ihr dürft natürlich auch, wenn ihr definiert und shredded sein wollt, die Kohlenhydrate auf keinen Fall außer Acht lassen. Und sonst sind Bananen, Sweet Potatoes und Rice ebenfalls wichtig. I'm good at translating, like, right bros. Workout, that's my car I go to right my workout. The fuck did he just do with his hand? Your levels are pretty low. Shout so out to, to Brad Schoenfeld and my ninja Alan sure Aragon. Source to get into there, your food, you know, helps build muscle. So bananas are real important. And then one thing for oats. There's two different style of oats. There's quick oats. Research. And there's old not even once. Now, old oats You're gonna need a widescreen for that. Cook, but the reason why is because they're less processed and they have more nutrients in them compared to quick oats, which quick oats are more processed. Less nutrients in it, not as good His non-verb so agreement fucking fashion. sucks. And by the way, it's I less so nutrition, shredded, fewer nutrients. Water. Water is super Dipshit. important. Muscles about 80% water, so if you're not drinking water, you're not having your muscles. I wonder what else is in that shaker well, bottle. There, like, are competing and stuff, you'd like to cut your water out um, like a day or two before your show. That is absolutely horrible for you. If you do that, you're going to look really flat. Your muscles are going to be flat. They're not going to have um, all the water in them. They're not going to look as full. So definitely make sure you're drinking your water. I recommend drink about one to two gallons of water a day. I mean, water is like essential for life. Water is honestly more important than protein, carbs, all that. If you're not drinking water, you're not living. As a I'd rather die than run to the bathroom every five minutes to piss like he probably does. Lasst euren Körper niemals dehydrieren, auch wenn ihr vor einem Competition seid, also vor einem Wettkampf und ihr entwässert, ist das natürlich eigentlich was Schlechtes für euren Körper. Ihr versucht äh, euren Muskel härter aussehen zu lassen, aber wenn ihr dauerhaft einen gesunden Körper und einen shreddeden Körper haben möchtet, trinkt genug Wasser. Chef trinkt ungefähr 6, 6 Liter Wasser am Tag. Alright, next up on the pyramid, we got some healthy fats for you guys. So first up, salmon. Says the guy who salmon throws out the very, fucking very egg yolk. For your diet. It's got real good healthy fats in it. Good omega-3s and packed in protein. Fish, super good for your diet, real high in protein. And also you gotta have some fat in there as well. If you don't have any fat in your diet, your energy level is gonna be low. It's gonna be low. It's gonna be low. You're not gonna gain these muscles fast. Your uh, testosterone. This is such a macho video. And all that isn't gonna be Full well. of testosterone so and hormones. Make sure you get that healthy fat in there, guys. Super important. It's is really wichtig, gesunde Fette to sich zu nehmen, ungesättigte Fettsäuren. Gerade Anfänger machen den Fehler und denken immer, ah, Fett und Kohlenhydrate, nein. Nee, also Füße sind sehr wichtig. Auch wenn ihr Muskeln aufbauen wollt für euren Hormonhaushalt, gerade für euren Testosteronhaushalt, ist es extrem wichtig, gesunde Nüsse zu haben. Also keine Angst vor gesunden Fetten. Next up, we have apples. They're another uh, good source of sugar to get into your body. They're um, a simple carb. So you eat that after like your workout. During that sort of time, you don't get your glycogen levels bumped back up. Good for that. 
Ga je stellen zo'n zomst? Hij heeft een dag, hij stopt het alweer. Ja, I love it. He's agreeing with the translator. Proteine eine wichtige Rolle, sondern auch so Mikronährstoffe wie zum Beispiel eine Apfelpalze, Antioxidantien oder zum Beispiel auch Brokkoli etc. We got, you know, broccoli, cauliflower, your beans. Just smack those things on there without explaining why they're good. And then also another thing with like these vegetables. What a waste of a perfectly good cucumber, girls. After a while, it gets boring, and you're eating the same thing day after day. So a lot of these foods, they're healthy for you, and they also make the food taste good. So it's another thing that you know you can just kind of eat it and then make it taste good too. So Chef, what do you say about salt? Salt. It's a little salt's a pretty iffy subject, honestly. I know a lot of people they're not really sure about salt. Grinding some pepper over the building block of carbs there. Wow, vascular. You want to retain water in your muscles. Salt's important for you. If you cut your salt out, then you're going to lose a lot of your fullness in your muscles. That happens a lot of guys in competitions and stuff. So I should stay on my salt cycle. Got it. You know, salt's like essential for your life. Like sometimes for me, I'll cut salt out for like a couple hours before a photo shoot. You never want to do it after, like more than 24 hours before like a photo shoot or competition, because then your body's not going to be as healthy. Also Chef ist nicht so der Freund von salzarmer Ernährung, er isst gerne Salz und verbannt es manchmal nur wenige Stunden vor einem Fotoshoot von seinem Körper, aber er sagt Salz ist sehr wichtig, auch wenn ihr schwitzt, verliert ihr viele Nährstoffe, also Salz auch wichtig. Having a little fun with the subtitles, nothing wrong with that. Super good, tastes good, real good lean meat for you, build the muscle up. This dude needs a good thesaurus. Alternative to Hähnchen, Chicken, Turkey, aber ich denke das kennt jeder. Hi boys, next up we got our fruits. First oh, up, this video has had fruits for several minutes now. Blueberries are really important to eat. They are pretty high See what in I mean? sugar. They are a simple carb, so it's good to have after your workouts. That's the preferable time to eat them. They taste good, it's important, and they are also a good antioxidant. Good antioxidant, so they're really healthy for you as well. Genau, also manchmal sind auch gerade in, in Früchten Sachen drin, von denen man das jetzt erstmal nicht erwartet, dass sie da drin sind. Viele Antioxidantien sind in Blaubeeren drin, ist auch eine gute Carbquelle nach eurem Training. Einfache Kohlenhydrate, schnelle Kohlenhydrate. Oder auch zum Beispiel richtige Geheimtipps sind Ananas und Wassermelone. Äh, Ananas hat ein paar Enzyme drin, die helfen eurem Körper die Proteine in Aminosäuren zu zerlegen, also die Proteine schneller zu verwerten. Und Wassermelone hat auch wichtige Aminosäuren enthalten, also super Tipp. Also we have olive oil, your cooking fats, linseed oil. These are also important as well because you need to have fat in your diet and these are healthy fats. I think the US so post office is more organized than this fucking pyramid is. No, they're up there. They make food taste good and it's good for it. These natural oils pump up your metabolism, kind of help speed up your metabolism, uh, burns fat more. It's real good for you. Wie jetzt schon gerade bei dem Lachs gesagt wurde, sind gesunde Fette sehr wichtig für euren Körper. Sie helfen eurem Körper sich zu regenerieren. Und ihr könnt natürlich die Fettquellen nicht nur aus Lachs oder Nüssen zu euch nehmen, sondern auch Leinöl oder Olivenöl sind super Quellen, um gesunde Fette aufzunehmen. So the top of our pyramid, we have our dairy products. Eggs are dairy products, and you had them at the bottom of the pyramid there already. I mean, dairy is packed in protein, but it's natural for you. Dairy is meant for like another species. We're the only species that consumes another animal's milk. The only species? So it's not very Yeah, we're the only species that uses computers. What's your point? It's good to have before you go to sleep because it's a casein protein, which means it's a slow releasing protein. So that means when you're sleeping, sleeping, it's not going to be added as fat, but it's going to be a little bit more slower. More slower? Protein, slower. So I think the gonna, German guy speaks English better than he does. It's good to have it before you sleep. And also milk, you know, makes protein shakes taste good. So it's good for that. But if you guys are going to consume your milk, make sure it's a non-fat. Your milk, make sure it's a non-fat or a low-fat milk source. It's really interesting what Chef gerade gesagt hat dass Milch gar nicht so gut für euren Körper ist. Früher ist man immer mehr auf Milch gegangen und gesagt, ja, mit Kalzium. Milch ist eigentlich gar nicht so gut für den menschlichen Körper, weil es ist eigentlich für die Tiere gemacht und nicht für den Mensch. Und man muss sich das mal vor Augen halten, man trinkt ja eigentlich die Milch von dem anderen Lebewesen, wofür die Nachkommen von der Kuh gemacht ist, nicht für den Mensch. Also darum seid sparsam mit Milch, wenn ihr mal ein Glas Milch trinkt. Ist natürlich nicht so schädlich, aber seid sparsam damit. Milchprodukte sind aber trotzdem dennoch hilfreich. Zum Beispiel jetzt gerade Magerquark und Hüttenkäse bestehen aus Casein, ist ein langsam verdauliches Protein, hilft euch gerade, wenn ihr das vor dem Schlafen gehen isst, nachts über versorgt zu sein mit Protein und euer Körper kann besser regenerieren.
This second tier titty bar music right, guys, is going to be stuck in my head for the rest right of my life. Potatoes. Put that boy right up there. <laughs> Away from all the good stuff. Honestly, potatoes aren't very good for you. They are not as packed nutrients as compared to their brother sweet potatoes. Potatoes are a little bit more genetically modified over There's time, nothing so necessarily wrong with genetically there, modified so foods. A lot of the foods we you. think haven't been modified uh, have been modified, like, car, like the banana. So if you're going to go for a potato, always go for the sweet potato. Kartoffeln hat jetzt Chef ganz nach oben gemacht. Er ist nicht so der Fan von Kartoffeln. Er sagt, Süßkartoffeln sind viel besser. Ist quasi die Urform von der Kartoffel hat viel mehr Nährwerte und auch die Kartoffel wurde in, in den Jahren immer genmanipuliert verändert, hat deswegen nicht mehr so viel Nährstoffe und esst nicht so viele Kartoffeln, wenn ihr shredded sein wollt. Ah boys, so that's a shredded pyramid. We got all the nutrients in there. May not look as pretty as a pyramid, but it's that wouldn't pass for a pyramid in a blind diet special ed geometry class. So you can hit your abs and that was exercises in futility, foreign language yeah, edition. Again, I never heard of these idiots until recently, but I think they're going to be a regular part of the rotation. To everyone out there, don't take nutrition advice, or any advice for that matter, at face value. Do your research, or be a dumbass.